Hi, I'm Drew, and that's Bethany. The desert is deceptive. A seemingly flat, dry, and barren land, the desert is actually a reserve of untapped exploration and unique landmarks. One such landmark that we'll be exploring today is not hidden, but has a magmatic and explosive history. It's the Amboy Crater, coming up on Odyssey Odyssey. Have you ever been to a volcano? Uh, no, I haven't. Me neither. Well, there you can see the crater sitting all alone out there. By himself. Way out in the Mojave Desert along Interstate 40 is the tiny town of Ludlow. From there, hop onto the National Trails Highway Route 66 and take that east about 28 miles to the town of Amboy. The parking lot for the crater is on the right just before you reach the town. You do have a sign. Amboy Crater National Natural Landmark. National Natural. This is Land. not a man-made thing. This is just a sock that I normally wear on my foot like a normal person, but since it's so windy, we'll put it over the mic. Maybe it'll help? I don't know. Because we don't have any fancy dead cats to help us out. Right. Ooh, good job with the dead cat. <laughs> uh, oh. Which way did we go? <laughs> yeah, that brings a good question to mind. Where the heck are we going? I mean, the volcano is that way. Right. So maybe that's the way we should walk? Just straight? No, I feel like there should be trails around here. There's a little, I think there's a little gap in the rocks over there. Oh. Um, we want to try check that. It. Check it out. I don't feel like where you're going is the right way. <laughs> you don't think this is right? I mean, it's relatively flat land. Okay, I guess I'm following her. I feel like this would be it, wouldn't it? This looks a little bit more trail-ish. There's a, a marker. Yeah, there's a marker over there. As long as we're heading more or less toward the volcano, we're probably going the right way. But it's, it's kind of deceptive because it looks like it's just a clear path, but it's not. This looks really ominous. Do not come here in the summer. They say that because people have actually gotten really sick mm -hmm. and have even had fatalities because they come and there's no shade. Yeah. And all of this heats up more than any other rocks normally would. And so it reaches 120 degrees in this area in the summer. Wow, seriously? Yeah. But today we lucked out. Yeah, got a nice yeah. cloud cover. Exactly. It's getting bigger as we get closer. It's not every day you get to hike into a volcano. It's not as difficult as you would think after uh, hearing the word volcano. Yeah, well the distance is only a three mile round trip hike, but it can be a little bit tricky with all the jagged rocks. And then the last 80 feet is supposed to have a really steep incline. This really does kind of look like Mount Doom. It does. So you can, you can kind of see here the, the gap in the cone where when the lava flowed out, it came out the side. Oh, yeah. And so it's not as tall in this area. So that's, that's where we're headed. Look at how these plants grow way out here, just coming up out of the rocks. Life. Yeah. This is actually one of the youngest volcano fields in the U.S. Last eruption, I think, was 10,000 years ago. Wow. So we're safe for today. Maybe. Or maybe we're due. Oh, uh, that could be. Woo, and it gets steep from here. This must be the last 80 feet they were talking yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. I need a moment. Okay. Uh, we're close. Yep. Wow. We are officially inside a volcano. The cone is supposed to be made up of ash and cinders. Yeah. Like a big fire pit. Hey, we could do a campfire up here and start on fire. It looks like another cone was forming in the center of this cone, doesn't ah. it? This is a little hill right here now. Layers. Well, should we head up to the rim? I think if we get up there, how are you going to get down? <laughs> well, 
Well, it looks like there's a number of paths that yeah. go up to the rim. We just gotta pick one and go. Look back where we came. There That's the gap is. we came through. Pretty cool. How's the view? <laughs> oh, cool. You can see everything. Yep. You can also see nothing. Oh yeah, you can definitely make out the crater. Yeah, now you can. <laughs> Very well from up here. Look at this though, is this like a mini volcano on the rim of a huge volcano? They're everywhere. <laughs> it's like a mini crater. Or I guess it, it could be a spot where the ground just collapsed or something. Yeah, it could be a lava bomb. <laughs> I mean, lava rocks are mostly air. Porous. Yeah, it's very porous. It's very lightweight too. But this is uh, hardened lava. Bonafide. Yep. And drop it. We're walking around the rim of the volcano now, which is kind of scary. <laughs> uh, it's a little intimidating. Yeah. But if you look out over here, you see like this huge field of black. And that's from when the last time this volcano erupted. It spread out all over this area. 79,000 years ago, during the Pleistocene geological period, a lake of lava rolled around inside the crater to create the cinder cone. The lonely landmark would spew basaltic lava which poured over a vast area of 24 square miles. Since its last eruption about 10,000 years ago, the volcano is long dormant and now a popular hiking spot. Fun facts for um, film and TV buffs, Amboy Crater is actually featured in the 1959 movie Journey to the Center of the Earth. Oh, well this would be a pretty good filming location, wouldn't it? That's true. It was also in an episode on a Vice show, Abandoned, in an episode called Route 66, which would make sense. <laughs> yeah, because we're pretty close. There's a, a field of dirt here. Looks like they've spelled I something. I honestly think, yeah, I'm lo I was looking at it and this, I think it's an A. That's definitely an A, and I think this is a K and H. But it's not one big sentence. Right. Should we rearrange it so it says B and D? The Amboy Crater, the perfect example of geology creating geometry. We don't recommend that you attempt this hike in the months of May through August because of the heat. But regardless of what time of year you come, be sure to bring plenty of sunscreen and water. And if you're in the area and have some extra time, check out the historic remains of Roy's Motel. We actually have a bonus video on that coming out next. And if you're enjoying our content, please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you can be notified when we release new episodes. And we'll see you next time. Oh, there's a post office box. I have to drop off my mail. You brought your mail all the way to Amboy so you could mail it? No, I just forgot to mail out some stuff. I'm really wondering how long it would take my mail to get from here to where it needs to go. Probably faster if you just deliver it yourself. <laughs>